Hey guys, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. This video will be going over my experience with the username TommyGun or on Discord 1928TommyGun. I would like to preface that this video will not have any sort of formed opinions regarding 1928TommyGun. I'm only going to be stating facts and evidence. To preface this entire video, I would like to add that I would personally consider TommyGun a friend of mine, at least before this entire interaction. I have helped him out numerous times regarding connections with um, even a sponsorship for his own server, uh, getting into communities that are otherwise invite only. Uh, I've even hired him as a plugin developer for a commission for our servers uh, a few months back. I've even played on his server several times with friendly voice chats. We've had numerous good conversations. Um, honestly, no bad interactions with Tommy Gun up until where we get started with this video. It starts on October 25th, 2021. I was confronted, and I'll leave their names anonymous, by two customers letting me know that they were less than comfortable with the advertisement that they're seeing in their server's console from Mr. Tommy Gunn's plugin, sharing their concerns with the appearance of it. Once I was let aware of this, which was pretty quick after Tommy Gunn had updated his plugin, which included this advertisement to his other site. I was pretty quick to respond to Tommy just to get confirmation. In the next clip, you'll see our interactions with that as well. Basically, just me asking him to remove the ad. He complied, and that was it. Furthermore, we chatted a little bit about the links that he uses in his videos, and he changed it from the loan design link to his own store link. And I just wanted to get his feedback on that. A few days pass, and Tommy Gun reaches back out, basically giving me two ultimatums as far as a break from the site or um, an agreement for advertising his other site, both of which I did not agree with. I will let you just read through the messages so you can get your own um, tone from the conversation, as I want to be as unbiased and remove all opinion from this video. Just want to keep it facts and evidence. So here you go. In the midst of this conversation, Tommy Gun was removed as a vendor from Loan.Design. Uh, his product was marked hidden from the site. However, anybody who had previously purchased it still had access to at least download that version of the plugin, but no future updates. With that being said, I also got contacted by two fellow Discord members who was in the Loan Design Discord, stating that Tommy Gun had, out of the blue, messaged them with no previous conversations or messages between the two. Um, advertising his new website and to sign up on it. The first customer of which did not even own the product. At the time I was informed this, I did kick Tommy Gun from the Loan Design Discord as it breached one of the Discord rules. In addition to the last point, I don't think Tommy was cold messaging every member of the Discord. I think he was just doing a select few. However, even just a select few was enough to warrant a kick for me as it does still breach the rules. The last point I want to bring up is the fact that Tommy did actually reach out to a legal team um, who actually contacted me regarding this entire situation. I won't share much of that information at all. I'll probably blur it out or something, but I just want to share that it did reach to that point um, for him to reach legal regarding this entire situation because he wanted the email list of the customers that purchased payback from Loan Design. The main purpose of this video is just for documentation purposes for myself, so I have everything in one singular place, um, as transparent as possible. Due to this interaction, I do not see myself ever doing any work with Tommy Gunn in the future, and thank you for watching.